Hi there, welcome to this video. This is another video on Night Cafe Studio, um, the new settings. This video is going to be about the algorithm and the model section. So we've got five algorithms. I'm going to show you how to use the original ones were um, style transfer, coherent and artistic style transfer. Um, as you can see there, you can't do it in the new um, GUI. You've just got to be done in this one. So you choose an image. Right, okay, so let's choose this image. You can choose any image, but in fact, you know what I want, I'll choose one of my own. So you go to library, and then you choose an image that you want to mix it with. So let's say I want some spacey, probably this one, Bitcoin goddess, choose that. So you're now mixing that with this. You can get a 10 to 20 second video of it happening if you want to. You can have low res, medium and high, it's all up to you. And if we pop this in, you can have multiple inputs. So let's choose another image. No, that's not going to work in this instance. Let's choose just that one. So I've got two images I'm going to combine or mix with this image. I could try multiple styles if I wanted to. See, I wanted to try that weird one there. You've got another option to blend with another style. So you can't do that with multiple styles. I think what that does, I'll show you what it does. If I take that away. So choose a different style. We'll go back with that one. And what it does is you can make one more important than the other. So let's say we want more of this. We want 70% of this one and only 30% of that one. And you can blend with another. You can keep going if you want. Um, so the input image is these. So we want to use the color with those. Did I take? No, we'll leave multiple inputs on. Yeah, why not? We want to sharpen it. Content weight. How much should the output look like the input image? Yeah, we'll just leave everything at basic. Um, it's default settings. So content weight. How much should it look like the input image? This gives more detail. If you put it here, it will be more abstract. Let's say we want an abstract image. And smooth and keep it as low as possible. Um, if you get weird, change it if you get weird artifacts, but I've never gotten that. And just create that in four credits. Okay, so here's the outcome. I didn't get really good results. Um, that's pretty terrible. And so is that. So it's probably got something to do um, with the fact that I... Let's have a look and see if we can do something to make it a bit better. Choose that image again. We'll just choose the one style, that one. And how much should the output look like the input image? Right, we don't want that at all, really. No, let's go for 10%. Use colors from the input image. We don't want a video. Let's go again, see if we get a better result. And the other picture, the other, it's barely changed. So. Clearly, I'm not using it right. Um, I just, I, when I first started the Night Cafe almost two years ago now, um, no, it'll be a year. 18 months, something like that. Um, I used that a couple of times then to see what was going on, but that was it really. Okay, as you can see, we've got more of the outcome that I would have expected because that is more like... that image that I used, that one, combined with that one. So just mess around with that one and see what you can, can, you can come up with. So next, um, the oldest ones are artistic and coherent. What I sometimes do is I create something in artistic, then I duplicate it, I duplicate it and then I use it in coherent, and coherent tidies it up a bit and then I put it into stable. I haven't done that for a long time, um, so first of all, I'll come back to those two. DALI is, well, everybody knows what DALI is. Um, it's one of the kind of best ones for certain things, realism and whatnot, but I'll give you a look at what we can do. You can only do up to nine images with DALI, um, and I've put in I've put in that text prompt. I'm just, everything else is just being left alone. There's not really much more you can do anyway. 
right and then I'll create that um, Dali should be a bit quicker than the uh, the last ones that we did and up there it is so a fun day at the seaside with psychedelic skies and purple sands yeah not bad that looks like the beach from my hometown well the white's wall and then there's hills at the back interesting but yeah okay as you can see Dali's doing what it's supposed to do so let's try the same thing in stable diffusion and I'll do a couple in stable diffusion um, we'll go for the oldest one first 1.4 I'll create 16 of those just because I always do um, you've got a few more options here you can get the output out. always start on thumb I would say and run time short um, and it depends on your prompt whether or not what size to use I'll use 169 because I'm looking for a landscape type you know, and I want the I want the accuracy in relation to my prompt to be quite high, so I'll put it up to eighty percent. I'll use a different seed for each one and clip guidance. I'll just leave it at basic at the moment. And the sampling methods you'll have to look at my other videos for these, but um, I will just leave it as is. So that's just a straightforward as is for um, stable diffusion one point four. As soon as it's finished, I'll duplicate it. I can probably du duplicate it straight away and just go to stable <coughs> 1.5, do it again, and then I'll do one in stable 2.1, create that, and then I'll do one on SDL, stable diffusion extra large, confirm. So let's see what this looks like. So yeah, it's kind of got what I was asking for. Looks a bit weird, but it's kind of there. That's 1.4. This will be 1.5 if I've done 1.5. I think I did. Subtle differences. Not too much between them two. This is 2.1, I think. Yeah, not bad and stable diffusion XL it's the composition's better but it's still you know the other ones are still pretty good but this one's got you know it's added moons and palm trees and stuff so it depends what you're after really see that I like this one with the wee house sitting there you know it's got the purple sand psychedelic skies so yeah it's pretty cool it's one of those things you have to mess around with quite a lot until you get to you know so let's 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 do it again in beta we'll go to the advanced prompt editor multiple prompts it doesn't really like so let's delete that and we'll go I'm just going to leave it at that um, in fact I might put just to get it I'll put in the candy so I've dropped in the candy preset there I'm going to want 16 images runtime yeah 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 I'll put that up to 90 different seeds for each image yeah away we go okay as you can see this is completely different you know it's it's the composition's better in all of them almost still got the psychedelic sky and some of the purple sands but it's kind of gone off and that's because of the additional um, descriptors that we added um, modifiers in this case which are in here you can add any one of them you like but that's about it um, if anyone is interested in artistic and coherent let me know and I will do a video on those as well but for the time being um, that's how you use the models and in Night Cafe thanks for watching, bye now